What's up, y'all? It's me, Troy and Goddess, coming in with a quick message. I hear that this message is for someone's future pretenses, for you to be able to plan accordingly, for you to be able to hear what your ancestors are saying to you. They say choose wisely. This has to do with a romantic involvement. Someone is on the interstate. Someone is going to be on the interstate real soon, rather, coming towards you. Earth sign, dealing with the water sign. I heard somebody was in movement, too. Somebody is getting in gear. They're getting in gear to come towards you. You may not know it yet. They may not know it yet. But they on their way. Yeah, that's what, that's what the G said. Y'all already know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming to bring the actual factuals, get you hip to what you hip to, or hip you on to what may be hidden, and that's hidden. Somebody has big plans for you. It don't seem like it's off, but it's already been some irreversible damage done. Too much bullshit in the games, what the G said. Yep, expect a package, a delivery. Somebody coming, they delivering they self. You might be about to get some food, too. You might be about to get some food. <laughs> some takeout. Some Chinese, some pizza. Vegetarian pizza. You gonna get that vegetarian Chinese dish, too. Nothing but vegetables and pasta. So, I'm seeing orange. You thinking healthy. Orange surrounds your health. Your guys are encouraging you to eat better. Um, they encouraging that. That's good because you're going to be successful with that. You're going to have a bunch of balance restored, right? To where you, you feel as though you're going to have a big weight lifted up is what I'm saying. This is a change that has been in the process of making for you for a while, right? I heard that you don't really like to eat meat. You know, spirit is with you. They say you're going to have some success. They want you to get up out of that that energy of you're not worthy or you looking in the mirror and feeling as though you're not handsome enough, you're not pretty enough. You are beautifully and wonderfully made is what I just heard. Beautifully and wonderfully made. Fire sign. Dealing with the earth sign. This person... It's two of them, though, right? One could be from your past, and one can be someone who is going to be set for your future. Is what I heard. This fire sign. It's been some strange occurrences too. These strange occurrences, though, has been this damage that somebody from your past is recognizing, analyzing, and realizing. This person might be coming in with some communication as well. I just uploaded a short. Um, some mature male, mogul-minded. You know, a mogul-minded male or female is coming towards one of my subscribers. And your enemies, right? You got some enemies. And they already know what they done did to further along this movement, that gap, right? There's been a gap in some connections. It's a future message, too. It's a future message. So this irreversible damage... Mm, this wasn't even supposed to be up. I straightened all my cards. King of Cups. Somebody was a hypocrite. They feel as though now, you know, they have restored some balance. They have restored some balance, you know. Um, they they up out of that negative, low vibe and energy to where they felt as though they was going to keep you as an option and not a choice. Now, the choice of the matter is that they've been lying from day one is what the G said. Truth and loyalty is at stake here. You know what I'm saying? These strange occurrences is going to be both these individuals, male or female, are going to be showing up around the same time is what the G said. They're going to show up on the same timeline and... I just heard you're going to have to choose wisely. You already know what it is with that past. Don't be scared to move forward. It could be a lot of love in that past relationship. But what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing with this star card is that you you inspired this person when you when you dip set on them. You jet it, right? You, you, they was immature. They was treating you like you didn't matter is what I heard. And now they realizing their purpose. They realizing their purpose was to be with you. You was something like a gift sent to them is what the G said. This person is like in a magician stage right now too. The lover's card. 
you found balance in loving yourself, right? This is something that you're still working on as far as this vegetative state, right? Vegetative state meaning um, you finding balance over here out of everybody else's lane, right? Your sexuality, though, you're going to have to speak that love into you, right? Whatever crevices that needs to be filled, you're going you're gonna to have to fill them yourself, right? You've overcome a lot. Gemini energy with this lover's card, you've overcome a lot with that past relationship and you've learned a lot of lessons. You love hard. Um, you have a great heart. Um, and it, it's not by accident that you two have parted ways. This queen of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. I'm feeling like, you know, you, you... You, you kind of, you know, lead your life off of instinct. You want a smooth course, right? You may be drinking some soy milk, too, or starting to drink some soy milk. And I don't know why they just threw that in there. That's a part of your gift, too. Your gift is, is, a, is, is, is healing, right? It's very healing. What I feel with this Queen of Pentacles is is that you, 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 you sit back on your throne and you let... The circus acts and their clowns, you know, communicate amongst one another. And you you sit on your throne and your power taking action to love yourself. You had the courage to step out on a limb and break away from someone who caused a lot of pain, a lot of grief. Somebody had you questioning your sexuality, not whether or not you like men or women, but you know whether or not you were worthy enough. And the G said, "Yeah, you are worthy enough with this Queen of Pentacles. You you worthy to them. You know what I'm saying? You what you worthy to this person who coming towards you as well. They looking at you like you beautiful, you handsome, very gifted, right? This is somebody who been watching you. This is somebody who." finds balance and staying present with the thought of connecting with you they've overcome a lot as well they're attracted to you i feel as though you're going to be attracted to them too they're attracted to your body but they they loving your soul they the g said they know your soul they know your soul so this could be a past life connection strange occurrence right i just heard you know when y'all see each other it is going to be like well i just will be you know, I just will be. It's like I've been knowing you since since our creator created these this this galaxy here, right? It's what I just heard. With this ace of wands, this person is coming in, um they coming in like they wanna birth this beginning with you. They want some change. They want some change with this lover's card. They want some change. And with this ace of wands. This person is going to be the person that you feel as though has the power to build with you because you powerful in your own right with that queen of pentacles, right? This king of pentacles, you know, they, this person, you know, they, I don't know. It's like they have some weaknesses with this ten of wands reverse and this king of pentacles reverse. They, they weaknesses as they work though. You know, they, they throw themselves into their work. This person um, is is a very smart individual as well. They they own a business. This is what I'm seeing with this Ace of Wands and this King of Pentacles reverse. But, you know, they, they got a system overload, and it's about time for them to take a break. Not only that, they are just now, you know, disconnecting themselves, cutting the cord from someone who, who played them as well, right? With this Ten of Swords at the bottom of my deck, they got some deep wounds of betrayal, and they they took some steps back. They took some steps back. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Strength card. I got Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I got some water out here. This person is in sync, too. You know, they're in sync with your wavelength. Y'all vibrating at the same frequency. They could be a water sign as well. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or this person could be a Leo. I got all elements out here, y'all. You feel me? You may have shown some some type of liking to this person with this nine of cups. It's like 
I'm feeling like you, you, you may know this person because I feel like you got a crush on this person or this person got a crush on you. This person got a crush on you. This person feels like they have a bunch of inner resources as far as, um, Making things work on a on a deep level with you is what I just heard. And they ready to come towards you and take action. This person may be your wish come true too. This person will be a, a person that you know is going to place you in high honors, right? Yeah, that's what the G said. It's going to be endless possibilities with this person who on this interstate. On this interstate. But you got someone from your past as well. Expect a package or delivery. This person, you know, six of cups, two of wands, four of pentacles. Can we be friends? This person is from your past and it failed, right? It Y'all went in opposite directions. This person is paying attention to what it was that you brought to the table. You know, that term, what you brought to the table. You brought yourself to your to the table you brought yourself to the table and you were enough this person made you feel as though you weren't enough it was a strong bond you heard what you had with this person mm. you heard something about them too that was very disappointing with this two of wands it's like I, I i just can't believe that i inherited this type of energy within my life but i see it was a lot of a suffering that you may have had with this person too right the G's want you to know that this, this relationship was a gift, this past relationship. It helped you to recognize, analyze, and realize your strengths and your weakness. I feel your weaknesses. I feel as though um this person helped for you to practice a lot of self-care and self-love. Help for you to love on yourself because it's like they wasn't showing it enough. And they kind of saw it, right? You've been healing. Um, you comforted within your own skin this person is going to be the surprise really and truly because i feel as though it was some fucked off ass energy between the two of y'all but they looking at it as a test of faith but they coming in corrupting a motherfucker they got some vices too it's, it's, it's some shit that they use um that you know you ain't even linked with and yo present energy right and they and they are very much so locked in with these vices it could be sex um addictions it could be drinking it could be you know weed drugs miles square squally cigarettes you feeling what i'm saying but this person you know they looking at you as a a a a, a, a centerpiece now they want to show you off they do they want to show you off they want to show off as well they feel like they got an advantage, but what they don't know is that this new person coming in is the one who has the advantage. Yeah, it, yeah, they the one who have the advantage with this nine of spores reverse. You right to have a lot of this doubt and this fear. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy surrounding this past connection. It was a struggle for you, right? And it was a bunch of deceptive energy that caused you a bunch of delays on your journey, right? So you feel, so you feel as though, but again, this connection helped for you to explore you, those places that you didn't believe that was true. You know, although it can have been a very immature attachment, I feel as though this person always felt as though um, you were being a little too sensitive and you were just being gentle with them, their heart, because it feels like, you know, they heart been trampled on as well. And that's the reason why, you know, they treated you the way they did, because hurt people hurt people. And the G's want you to trust your intuition. You've already reflected on this person, right? They brought you a lot of shame and, you know, this connection overwhelmed you to the T. You may be even paranoid about this person even rolling up on your purge. Knock, knock is what the G said. Knock, knock. You got a soulmate and a past connection who is about to be at 
your door. I don't know if it's literally or figuratively, but it's some judgment coming in. It's about to be a big change. You already understand this past person, and you're going to get a, a very quick understanding of this ill will that they had towards you, right? So this person, this new person, though, they're very diplomatic. They're creative. They're intelligent. They renown at whatever it is that they do right now. You know what I'm saying? All they want now is to glorify um, glorify this deep transformation that they've went through. They Them understanding themselves and, you know, spiritually elevating to a higher state. They, they like to travel, too. They like to travel is what the G said. This person going to come in wanting to be your friend. This person going to come in and it's going to be like this change is very, very healthy. I'm seeing with this will of fortune at the bottom, it's time for you to recognize, analyze, and realize that you are very strong in your own right. And you deserve someone who is going to treat you the same way that you treat them. No hypocrisy on the board, right? It's a lot of compassion out here for you, but one of these characters in your saga and your epic is a phony choose wisely see you